Yes, yes, good morning. Sunday, the 22nd of August. Well, it's not morning. 12.10, good afternoon. How's it going, Stephen O'Donnell? You alright, mate? Jackie Wynn, Nails by Cheryl, Sinead C80, Sammy Wholehouse. Good morning, stroke, good afternoon to all of you. I just thought I'd pop on for a little while. What's happening, Chris? Big up yourself, mate. Uh, Leanne, how's it going? Facebook user, your name's not coming through. Salmon Twins. Big up, Lizzie Moz. Yeah. I just thought I'd pop on for a little while. I ain't seen you all for a bit. There's been a few things happening out there. Steph, what's happening, darling? You all right, mate? Yeah, it's been a little while, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd pop on. How's it going? Right, if you notice, we've got another YouTube up at the minute, right? Just B T V. Everyone get over there, subscribe. Um, just got to keep going, keep going with the YouTube channels, because uh, you know what they're like. How's it going, the Tourist Viva? Yes, mate. All good, all good, all good. Hello, Facebook user. Yes. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Been a lot going on, isn't there? It's been a lot going on. I've been watching very closely that uh, Prince Andrew scenario unfolding and just wondering at what point do I step in and say, Oi. Oi. Some things here that we need to talk about. Yeah, no, nah, fever's gone. I don't know where that shit come from. But it all happened after I ate a roast dinner from a Toby Carvery. And uh, the next day, I just started feeling a bit like... You know, you get that weak feeling, uh, and you just, oh, I fucking need to lay down. And once I laid down and went to sleep, and I woke up, I thought, shit, man, like, eyes are burning. I weren't sick. So, that's what makes me think, was it food poisoning? I had a couple of fucking watery shits, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had a couple of them, but nothing major. I just had this fucking fever. I thought, where's this coming from? Because rarely man like you see me ill i get fucking mentally ill but not normally physically ill like that but i ain't been ill for a long time so um big up yourself here ward yeah don't know don't know <laughs> that squits you know <laughs> squits squirts do you know what it twice i sat down gone yeah it weren't no ordeal there weren't no like oh it was fucking bad it was none of that it was just the fever thing that come along with it, and I thought, fuck, some cunt's poisoned me. I reckon it was the Uber driver, if anything, because it couldn't have been something that was catching, because no one else got it off me. It weren't COVID. I've done a test, got one of them tests, spat in it. Weren't COVID. Um, fuck knows. Fuck knows. I, I don't know. I could, it couldn't have been something that you caught, because no one's caught it off me. Can it be food poisoning without being sick? I don't know. Which is fucking strange. Strange. But it's gone now. Yeah. I'm all right. He's all right, he's all right. Happy Sunday, Facebook user. Chris sent you black birthday gift, mate, and it is PO Box, but it, but it bounced back to me. Gonna resend it, resend the nick on Monday. Oh, Chris, thank you, brother. Yeah, man, no, you don't, need to get, you don't need to get me nothing. It's done now, innit? I'm officially old. I'm fucking 47. And uh, it is the beginning of the end. That's not really. Got, got things to do. Got things to do. Got people to expose. I've got holes to drill. Got painting to do. I've got stuff on. Maybe the skunk. Taxi drivers, maybe. Nah, man, it ain't a skunk, is it? Of course it ain't. I dare you blame that. <laughs> I dare you, I dare you. 47. I'm fucking 47. I started when I was 17. I'm 47. 30 blood clot years. 
It's a long time to be getting called a cunt, isn't it? It certainly is. But, uh... Hopefully, we can remedy that. Yeah? We're, we're going to remedy that, yeah? Okay? We're going to fix everything. And fix everything, okay? If it's going to work properly, if it's going to be the right way. I feel like I've jumped into a fucking alternative reality where I'm, a, I'm the cunt in it, you know what I mean? And you struggle in it. It's one of them. Whereas before, it was a different ride. I was on I was on this one, and it was going all right. And then something happened, it was, and I've ended up over here for fucking 20 years. <clears throat> but never mind. Same age as me, Brian, and I'm still called cunt too. <laughs> <coughs> yes, what's happening, DB? <laughs> I'll see you up there. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Yes, I did, DB. Thank you. And I understand now, because Nikki said they got opening them on a live, but I was sat here bored one night, no one here, and I thought, the fucking present there. So I opened it, and uh, yeah, thanks for them. For the rest of you that don't know what it is, it's a pair of boxer shorts, and it's got Nikki Lee's face all over it. Everywhere, not one face, many. So imagine that, if you will. Yeah, and they're actually fucking comfortable. I'll put them on there proper soft. So uh, thanks for that, DB. Thank you. <coughs> I would model them for you, but they've only been on and they're in the wash. Okay. Aha. Is the uh, oh, the phone's going? All, oh, fuck off, man. Why is it doing that? As this one. That's normal, isn't it? That do. I don't know why this does this. It just starts going all silly and speeding up and doing all fucking stupidness. I've been hearing about the people chatting shit and that about me online. Dickhead, you ain't getting no airplay. You're very fucking desperate. I'll say that. I'll say that. And you don't fucking learn either. Also, out uh, to... Um, is that normal yet? Working normal. <clears throat> also, out to uh, Leighton Police. What's happening? What's happening? You come round, you fucking kidnap me, out the ass, put me in the fucking cell, everything's oh so much of a fucking rush. Come on, Brian, come on, Brian. I just woke up, you fucking cunt. Yeah, I just fucking woke up. You fucking horrible cunt. Now, is that your sister, sweeting? Emma Sweeting, who done Encroach chat and stitched all them people up with them dodge phones. Is that your sister? You saying to do with you? You're all out of Essex Police. And she got an OBE this year, she was on the honorees list. Where'd you get them from? The Queen. You know the Queen, the person that Ian Puddick works for. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Um There's been a lot going on, man. I've been sitting back watching this Prince Andrew turn out happening now all the very best of luck I want to say to Virginia Roberts Dufresne um, what I can't understand is how is she still alive It must be, because I, I, honestly, I'll go through everything with a fine tooth comes. How is this girl still alive to cause so much problems for this, for Prince Andrew, right? Because she clearly is. Um, you've got the whole fucking sweetheart deal from back in, what was it, with Epstein, 2007. We hear that Prince Andrew was named in that. Um, so what, what I am looking at is because I'm trying to see the game here, I know how the media work here, yeah, and I know how they spin things. And what I was convinced in my mind was that, listen, they were gonna run this one for 10 years, right? And then at the end of it, after this woman suing Prince Andrew, something was gonna happen, and it all goes tits up, and Andrew gets vindicated. If you think that these spin doctors out there ain't working on that one right now, then think again. So, I'm good, thank you ITV, thank you. Um, and, um, oh, I'm very well, thank you mate, very well. So how are they gonna spin this? 
Well, I thought about it, right? And I thought, right, what you do is you let it happen for 10 years. Let, let Andrew even play up to the fact, fuck, I've been caught, you know, looking, doing his best to look hot. Now, I'm not saying he, he's innocent. No, I'm, fuck, fuck no, right? And we know that, right? But how are they going to turn this round in the media? The royal family ain't just going to lay back and go, that's it, we're over. They're not going to do that. They're going to spin doctor it and do everything they fucking can. Number one, this woman's still alive. Number two, back in... January 2014, if you remember the Andrew Ash interview, Bill Maloney is saying to Andrew Ash, um, some of this might come out later on when it's all over, but at least we got it. You know what he's referring to there in January 2014, didn't you? Prince Andrew. They knew this was coming. So me being made to film Andrew Ash, being funded by Ian Puddick, who works for the Queen, buy me a ninja recorder to film Andrew Ash and get as much bungle as possible and then me run out there and pretend that it's real. That's what they needed. That's what they needed. They would have been dropping that before the Virginia Roberts thing so that they could say, look, we just got all these silly allegations coming in. Imnad was going to make an example out of me, which is why I'm going after these cunts because they keep trying to make an example out of me using me like I'm going to scapegoat business, yeah? Uh, it's not going to happen this time because... Prince Andrew, you was in the fucking red rooms with Ghislaine Maxwell, right, with two fucking minors, yeah? And I'm just waiting for the opportunity when people let me talk and they're gonna fucking listen. Why is she being listened to, but I'm not? Is this just damage limitation from you lot? You know, and was, was you gonna get your Sean Atwood to interview you on the exclusive when you turned it around? Because you ain't turning shit around, mate. Yeah, and Prince Charles keep making fucking comments on Andrew. He's, you know, he's, he's not going to be performing any more duties. And, you know, keep going back to, you know, what does Charles say? What does Charles say? Sorry, a minute, but have we all forgotten whose mate Prince Charles was? It was only Jimmy Savile, and he ain't fucking spoke about it. So do you trust him? No. Here's another thing. If you look on a map, I think I've even got it here somewhere. You know what's nothing like bringing it up, is there? Right, hold on a second, I want to show you something. I want to roll a thing and I want to show you something. Right. I'm going to show you some things. Okay. Right, what we got here? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, right. So, let's just bring this up a minute. Uh, what page should we put this on? Right, hold on two seconds there, people. Right, so if I go on it up. Hello. And uh, we'll go on it up and we grab this picture. I screenshotted this the other night. Right, let's just make that a bit smaller. Let's make that a bit smaller, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Right, so I want, let's have a look at this. Right, so there you've got a map of um, Belgravia, that was where Ghislaine Maxwell lived, right, in that little musy place, and then you've got Buckingham Palace along the way, right, and then you've got Covent Garden where the Red Rooms was, right. So from Belgravia, to Covent Garden, the Red Rooms, from Ghislaine's house, where she was harboring a minor in 1994, the same year that I saw her in Covent Garden, in the Red Rooms, in Browns, behind a wall in a secret room with two minors, and Prince Andrew was there, and some others whose faces I didn't see. It's 2.2 miles from Ghislaine's to Covent Garden. Now, bearing in mind, Ghislaine Maxwell lives next door to fucking Henrietta Comrade. We don't need to go into her at the minute, but Channel 4, Hayley Barlow, phone, all the rest of it, right? Don't worry about it, we'll get to her. Um, Alex Belfield is a fucking bellend, man. He's an absolute cock, the geezer. Look what I went to him with. I got kidnapped, he's had old Bill at his ass, but he finds every excuse under the sun not to have me on live. But he'll have some fucking 
anonymous cunt who you don't know what's going to fucking save from up the country. That just goes to show you that all of his phone calls are all fixed. Because he don't have real people on. And he's got the cheek to have free speech at the bottom of his page. Sit on that, Alex. Right? You sit, I put that down for you and you can sit on it. And you can jump about as much as you want and have a nice time. And afterwards, I'll punch you straight in the mouth with my shitty finger. Yeah? So anyway, Belgravia to Covent Garden. Belfield is an actor from MI6. Wouldn't fucking surprise me. Belgravia to Covent Garden, the Red Rooms. It is 2.2 miles away from her fucking ass, right? And then along the way, you can almost draw a fucking line for it, can't you? Buckingham Palace. Not quite halfway, but within the two-mile radius of Covent Garden. Now, do you think... Well, we know there's a tunnel system coming from Buckingham Palace. It's not too much of a stretch, is it, to say a mile and a half tunnel going to the bottom of one of the nightclubs up London that the Royals own. And they come in that way. There's no way him and Ghislaine went through the front door that night. Because if you did, you'd just be in a VIP area. You wouldn't be in a club behind a fucking wall that you had to get through through the fucking office, would you? No. So, what's going on there? It's only 2.2 miles away. I reckon they went to that club through an underground network, through an underground tunnel network. That's what I reckon, because there's definitely tunnels underneath Buckingham Palace. If you think there ain't escape routes there, and tunnels that go on for miles, not just about a mile and a half to Covent Garden, these things fucking must be everywhere. How do we know there ain't even one underneath Belgravia in that muse that takes you right into Buckingham Palace? How do we know that? I bet there is. There's got to be a tunnel network. All that shit under the River Fleet and all that as well, where they tell you, oh, it's just all, um... Can't go down there now, it's all sort of uh, toxic and fucking health hazard and that bollocks, mate. They'd be using that shit under London. A city, London, under London. Yeah, fucking child traffickers, these cunts. Whole city underneath. There you go, there you go. We've all heard about it, we've all heard about it. Yes, Dad on Wheels, big up yourself, mate. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Whatever that fever was, it's gone. Um, look, man, it's 2.2 miles away from fucking her ass, right? Where, where, where the photograph was allegedly taken in Belgravia, Gile Maxwell's place, where she was harbouring a minor in 1994. I go to fucking Brands, 1994, coming up to Christmas, because they obviously know we're going to have a number one. They walked me through there, man, like I was fresh meat, or rather Daniela did. And she's admitted it. She's admitted what we saw in the Red Rooms was real, that shit was real. She's got her fame through keeping her mouth shut because she was part of that. She's still fucking part of that. Do you think Daniela Westbrook doesn't know Ghislaine Maxwell very well? Of course she does. Of course she does. Yes, Adam, big up yourself, mate. All I'm saying is that is 2.2 miles away from Belgravia Gee Lane's ass to that nightclub. So, yeah. I know what I fucking, I know what I'm seeing anyway. I know what I'm seeing. So, uh, When's my accusation going to hit the mainstream media then? Because... I, I still don't think that picture's real. I look at that picture of Virginia. It just doesn't look real to me. But I'm not saying that it couldn't be. Something's put Andrew under pressure. But that picture is too fucking convenient for my liking. It's too convenient. And, and early on, you can see that they was going to, you know, we're not sure if that's my hand. The powers of Photoshop are good. I ain't going to lie. We don't know if that's a picture of a picture of a picture. It, there's so much speculation around that photograph. Now, there always would be, but it's a photograph. Allegedly, that photograph has been through the whole, um, has, has been about for years, yeah? And I saw an article the other day of the person that 
officially made a copy of that photograph. So in the mainstream media, the narrative is so far that that is a genuine photograph. I think what's gonna come in the future is they're gonna pick that photograph apart and the whole thing is gonna come down to, because at the minute it looks like Andrew's getting a kick in. There's no way he's just laying back taking that. This has to be planned. And if you want proof that there's a plan going on, Bill Maloney, some of this might come out later on when it's all over. So at some point it was gonna be all over. Because if you remember, Bill Maloney was working with Ian Puddick. Ian Puddick works for the fucking Queen. So Bill Maloney had no interest in exposing anyone for doing anything with Prince Andrew. What he was gonna do was lay down some lies and get sorted out for that. That's where I come into it and ruin it for him, yeah? So we go back now to Bill Maloney in 2014 January saying to Andrew Ash, who was also being um, interviewed by James Fielding for the Express newspaper, the same journalist and newspaper that, that, that went out there and connected John Wedger to the Baby P story that he never talks about. Right? There is spin coming. I don't believe in this woman. I'm sorry. I don't fuck it. It's going to fall apart. And when it does, there's going to be this big massive fucking turnaround. She's going to get made out to be a liar. Right? And they're going to turn it around for Andrew. Or do you honestly believe they're going to leave him at the royal family and that forever? A lot of mind games going on at the minute. A bit like the one where Harry's pissed off over there and that. You know what I'm saying? It looks like they've, they've fallen out. They need spin right now. They need diversion stories. That's all it is. And Bill Maloney saying that in January 2014. Some of this might come out later on when it's all over. When what's over? The VIP fucking sex scandal? Or, well, you knew this was coming up with Prince Andrew. Here's another fucking clue. John Harris, in his last interview, find it online on the Graham Hart Show, H-A-R-T, like Christine Joanna Hart, yeah? John Harris was, his last ever interview, it's on now, right? And he says, and there's gonna be a bit of a shake-up, latter part of 2015, early 2016. But what he's referring to is this Prince Andrew thing. So every single fucking one of them was all in on it. And, and, John, and John Harris was in with Bill Maloney, which is why they pretended not to like each other. I've been seeing that one a lot lately, even from people who fucking call themselves my mates. Yeah, coming around laying fucking false stories and groundwork for false stories. There's been so many fucking agents around me. It's fucking unbelievable. So I go to sleep free falling. I know what it's like when you've been up all night. It's, it's hurtful. You know what I mean? Go to sleep. Don't fight it. What's the point? What are you going to do? Stay awake till 10 o'clock tonight? That shit fucking hurts, man. If you're as old as me, it's, it's getting harder to do, I tell you. I have. There's not many good mates. There's a few. Yeah. I mean a few. Everyone else a cunt. They're cunts. All of them. The band, everything. Can't fucking stand none of them. Can't fucking stand them. I look at them and it literally, armpits start dripping. I feel sick and that. I just think, fuck you. Fuck you. You'd, you, you'd stand back, wouldn't you, if I died and just carry on. Hey, everybody in the house, I love fucking wankers a lot of you. What you fucking done to me. And you're going to pay as well. Because I'm, I'm just going to expose everything. I'm exposing everything. You know it's coming. Yeah, so if you're sitting back wondering, oh, will he, will he, is he gonna, yeah, I fucking am. Yeah, I'm picking my fucking moment so I don't get lost in their fucking spin. Yeah, but you're all getting it, because you ain't doing this to me. 30 years of my fucking life. Fuck you. Fuck you. Cunts. Fucking do this to me, yeah? Let all this shit carry on as well when you know the truth. You know the truth. You know what happened to him. You know what happened. And you all better fucking admit it. Because I'm going back to the police, reporting it again, and saying better get done this time about it. Watkins ain't dead. You think I'm having that? More fucking spin from the media. Media need to be held to account, mate. I tell you, for the shit they cover up, don't tell you the truth that the media need to be held fucking responsible.
fucking John Wedger, baby P. Yeah? All right then. <laughs> All right then. Right, I've got two words for you. Andrew Ash. Because at the minute, the media, the Mirror and the Express are having you believe that Andrew Ash is still real. They ain't corrected the story. They've done nothing. They're having you believe that them stories are out there real. That's what, that's what they're doing here. Ain't corrected it, have they? Where's Andrew Ash? Where are you, Andrew? You're getting reported, mate, yeah? Know that. I'm fucking reporting you as a missing person. And I'm going into the police station to do it. I'm not having any more fucking fake police that you're sending round here. I'm going in. I'm going to talk to an inspector. And if you want to try and stop me along the way, be my guest, isn't it? Be my guest. Because you're getting it, mate, yeah? And I'm reporting Prince Andrew properly. Fucking properly. And if you don't do something about it, then you'll make me right, won't you? That there's clearly something wrong. But I'm reporting all of you, mate. I'm reporting you. Everything. Phone hacking, all that. That's getting reported again. Richard Mallet, if you're watching, you're getting fucking reported. Sending me fucking shit paper. Well, I knew you was doctoring it because all the call, all the call log stuff is all fucking out of sync. And it wouldn't be. It'd be fucking itemised. And look, you moved it all around. What are you hiding, mate? Well, clearly, you've had people over for fraud for £1.8 million. Pounds. Provable. I've proved it. Puddick tried to cover it for you, taking me computers with his fake police. Shh. Seizing my computers for a fucking year. You know what? You cunts are going to get taught such a lesson. You think you, beat, you ain't beat shit. I ain't even started yet. I ain't even started yet. Yeah? Make sure you fucking know that. I ain't even started yet. And you see all these little trolls, all these wankers. You see you, you cunt, who just caused me problems. Yeah? Watch when I fucking sue the cunt out of you now and back it up with the fucking videos I got, yeah? Cunt. Fuck you. I'm coming. Yeah? I'm coming, don't worry. I'm coming. Yeah? Fucking know that I'm coming. Fuck you, Prince Andrew. You fucking nonce, yeah? You fucking nonce. I saw ya. I fucking saw ya with Ghislaine and two minors. Get out of that, you cunt. Fucking get out of that. Good night, free falling. Yeah, get out of that. Let's see what happens when that one hits the media. Well, if they kill me, you've already heard me say it. I saw Prince Andrew, yeah? Two fucking minors with Ghislaine. Yeah? Boy and a girl. Explain it. Explain it. Explain to me the mainstream news article in The Independent in 2000. Royalty, actors and pop stars. Daniel has already admitted what we've seen is real. Now, why ain't no one putting pressure on her to fucking speak up? I rest my fucking case. I got all the proof I need. I got all the admissions on tape. People saying that it's true. Get out of that. Get out of that. You won't get out of it. You won't get out of it. Watch. I've got too much proof. You ain't getting out of it. Yeah, don't worry, man. All this, see all this child abuse and all this shit? It has to stop. And it only stops when someone fucking speaks up with some proof and does something about it to some cunt high up who thinks he's above it. Yeah? Watch. Watch, yeah? All I'm saying is watch. And watch the Rape of the Band member leak into Watkins, Child Lion, Esther Ranson, yeah? Tony Blair, Prince Andrew, and all these other fucking nonce gatekeepers. Watch, watch it happen, and at the end, I'm going to give you the biggest fucking, I told you, didn't I? I fucking told ya. I fucking told ya. Yeah? I fucking told you. Years ago. Yeah? And got scrutinised for it. Fuck them, I don't give a shit, man. I don't give a shit who anyone thinks they are. Too many people think they're fucking bad men. I'll do this, I'll do that, I know this person. Fuck off. Yeah? Fuck off with your stupid... It ain't the fucking 90s anymore, yeah? These cunts are getting exposed, right? End of. End of. Yeah? There's no two ways about it. Oh, but I'm just a bit of me too many drugs. Fuck off, yeah? You're getting exposed because I've got evidence. I'm going to slaughter the lot of you. One by one. One by one. And one by one, you're going to get sued as well. And just remember this, whoever wants to come up against me, I'm exempt from costs. Yeah? So as long as I come with proof and about fucking 100 videos on each of you, which is going to cost you a lot of money, actually, to see my evidence against you. Yeah? 
because that's how it works, isn't it? And guess what? I'm exempt from costs. How are you? I'm exempt from costs. What's happening, Kit Kat? Because if I'm exempt from costs in the dearest claim in UK history, or the dearest court case in UK history, the phone hacking, and it's not about, you know, oh, I bought the claim. So it's now down to the court and all of that lot to sort it out. They lost my bundles. Yeah, Master Bancroft lost my bundles. You people are in so much fucking trouble. I don't even know where to start with you. I've just got too much on all of you. Too much. Now what happened, Kitty, man? Chair accident. Yes, Andrew, Benidorm, yeah? Big up yourself, mate. On the beach. That's good shit. What's the weather like? Is it all right then? It's quite miserable here, but I ain't gonna lie, I quite like a bit of a miserable day. Yeah, and you're a bit tired than that. Don't want all the sun blasting in through the window, mate. You get. Don't want all that. <laughs> Don't want it. I like today how it is, thank you very much. But as Benedon, what's the weather like there? I'm asking too many questions. I'm still. Kitty's had an accident on a chair. What's happening, Louise? Uh, Steph's done it as well, she reckons. 33 degrees! Ah, Freemasonic holidays. Get away with London, Polly. I was putting up some decorations, went to sleep, stepped down off the chair, caught my leg, bruised real bad, Abby says I've got to go hospital, but fuck that, oh man. Oh fucking hell man, I hope you're alright. Can you walk on it and that? If you can walk on it and that and it's bruised, you, you probably will be alright. <laughs> What's happening Freddie? It's a little spilt milk, sorry I had to. Benny Tom. Blessings! Yes, I, yes, I'm, I'm exempt from the costs. I'm, I'm actually exempt from the costs. If I'm exempt from the costs in the phone hacking, which I should have been, but Mallet was so corrupt, he's so fraudulent, he went and paid for it himself to file my claim. Didn't tell me he was filing it, just went and fucking done it, like, yeah? 12th of November, 2012. Didn't fucking tell me, though, the cunt. And then he filed it for no more than a 25 grand payout. Why would you do that when you've just been on the phone saying this is a million, this is a slam dunk case? You cunt. I'm going to fucking get you, yeah? Lanky streak of piss. I'm going to fucking get you, yeah? I don't care who you know, who your mates are. I'm going to get you. Not after them. I'm after you. You fucking thief. Cunt. Cunt. Yeah? With loads to hide. you got fucking loads to hide, mate. Watch when it all catches up on you. Your little fraud thing ain't fuck all. And how come you didn't go to prison for fraud? You only got struck off for 13 years. Watch, just watch anyway, yeah? I'm gonna fucking destroy everyone. Yeah, you're getting it. I ain't intimidated, you're getting it. I don't give it, if anything, you've just made me more angry, more fucking determined, yeah, to show you all up for what you are. And I'm going to. Say what you want about me, I'll come with the evidence, I will fucking destroy everyone, yeah? Watch. You'll see. You'll see. Second I walk in that police station, I'm filming it, I'm going to be able to prove I've been now, there is no getting out of it, I'm going to get you in the corner and I'm going to fuck you. Dry. Big up yourself too, Darren, mate. Yeah, they're going to see what evidence I've got, don't worry, it's overwhelming. You're going to know the picture, that's all that matters, mate. The press are going to try and spin it like they do with everything else because they try and look after their mates, isn't it? Yeah, but I ain't got no mates in that world. So they can all get turned over as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Murdoch has got more power than the PM. Murdoch's the one that, that fucking helped put the PMs there in the first place with his media spin and you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm still fucking... I'm, I'm still a long way off yet, man. I'm, I'm two cameras and a switcher. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to sell that switcher online. That would really solve a lot, but it ain't going. And I'm just fucking sitting here like a cunt. 
you know what I mean? But when it goes, then I'll, I'll, I'll move on it. Until then, I can't do fuck all. You know what I mean? But I suppose it'll just happen when, it, when it's meant to. Because if I had the five cameras set up now, mate, I'd be doing interviews, I'd be, getting, I'd be calling people in, saying, listen, I need to talk to this person. Can you come in? Can you do an interview? Quick hour. We'll go live with it. You know, because I'm seriously going to start getting to the bottom of this shit. I ain't started yet, believe it or not. You know, I've had to keep repeating myself, drumming in the highlights that I need you to know. Once I start going into detail about things, you will soon realise, oh, fuck me. Well, that wouldn't be real then if that weren't like that and that. You will see. You will see. And you are going to watch people scramble properly, yeah? Because people are going to be forced into admitting what the fuck has gone on here. Because I ain't sitting here 30 years later like a cunt. You can fuck off. I've earned no money out of this shit. I've got nothing. I don't want the money. It's what you've done to me and what you've tried to fucking influence people into fact like what I'm like. Fuck you, you ain't like me. Yeah, you ain't like me and I ain't like you. And that's why we all live fucking different lives. Yeah, but I ain't getting turned over again by no fucking cunt, yeah? Yeah, I ain't getting fucking turned over again. You're all getting it, yeah? I'm exposing you all. So if you think, if you ever doubt it, just know it's coming and I'm getting in on you all my fucking hardest. Yeah, just know that. People that call themselves my friends and that, all of you, you're all fucking getting it, yeah? Because I ain't having it from none of you fucking cunts, yeah? Say what you want, do what you want. It changes nothing. I'm still going to inform the world of fucking everything, yeah? And I'm going to make your fucking lives hell like you made my life hell. Every single fucking last one of you that was involved in it. From Richard Mallet to E17 to Tom Watkins to fucking people in record companies, I'm going to get all of you. Yeah, gonna get all of you. And I mean it. It's not a blag, it's not a joke. You have fucking ruined my life, and now I'm gonna destroy yours. Yeah, legally, properly, with evidence, and fucking show you cunts for all what you fucking are. You thieving, dirty, no soul cunts. Yeah, that's what I think of you. That's what I think of you. All of you. That's what I think of you. If you ever doubted it, don't. That's what I think of you. I, I I shouldn't hate, but I do. I fucking hate each and every single one of you. I think you're a cunt. Every single fucking last one of you. You cunts. Yeah? You don't do this to me and get away with it. You let be happy and let me die. They want to sit back and say nothing. Really? Well, now I know what your fucking colours are, mate, yeah? Watch me. Just watch me. Just watch me. That's all I'm saying, yeah? Watch me. Before these cunts get to move to me, I'm going to fucking destroy you and I'm going to leave so much fucking chaos behind, it is fucking unreal. Watch me, yeah? Watch me. Starting with you, Andrew. Yeah? Let's have Prince Andrew and Andrew Ash. Yeah? Let's have, let's have that. So we're going to see that. Where was that one going then? Yeah, so Andrew Ash reckons he's been in the Royal Muse with Prince Andrew, Sidney Cook, and Jimmy Savile. Right, Andrew, you need to come forward and clarify whether that was true or not. And how much of what you told the Express was bungle. Right, you ain't getting away with this. None of you. Right, Bill Maloney, you ain't getting come out dancing to one of Tom's records, yeah? Pet Shop Boys. All right, mate. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, you think it's funny to take the piss, yeah? You fucking mug. Watch what I do to you, yeah? Watch what I fucking do to you. You fucking idiots. Idiots. Shouldn't have made me famous. Last thing you wanted to do. Last thing on this planet you wanted to do was make Brian Harvey famous. It's the biggest mistake you ever fucking made. Yeah, know that. And what I've seen and what I know is going to blow you away. Bleeding thing. How's it going now? What we got? Andrew Ash is no doubt an actor now hiding back in Amsterdam. Could be, could be. You know, damn well he's got a bit. Of, put it this way, he don't live in Hull no more, yeah? Put it that way. Everyone's got to come into question. Mary Moss at Napick. Yeah, all of you. Yeah, art gallery. Really? Who are you in with? 10 million pound art gallery. Yeah, trust me, I'm going to be looking into that one, Mary. Yeah, I'm going to be looking into that one. I thought, I thought um, you didn't talk to Andrew anyway. See how you lie? And you want me to go guilty against Puddick and that? Watch anyway, yeah? You've all got the nastiest shot coming later. And you see all these trolls that are out there talking shit. 
I've got video evidence on every single one of them. Only reason I ain't going in on them yet is that they don't matter and they don't really, they're just diversions. They're trying to divert my attention, right? Just like Puddick having me computers taken at the time Richard Mallet got struck off. They didn't want me to find out about that. But I found out in the end. Don't let them use you ever again. No, I won't, Claire. I won't. They like to try and scapegoat someone, but they thought I was a thick cunt, yeah? That's that's where that's where they fucked up. And they did fuck up. See every single one of them to say they got something to say about me, I got something on every one of them. Every one of them. Every one of them I could sit down after they've put their worst out and I could sit there and show you I won't say her fucking name. But I've got her getting in her bed with all her fucking silly minge fluff out and that. Alright, talking shit. Um, all of them. One day I'll make the video and put all the bits in there they don't want you to see. And then, you know, I think you already know what they're about anyway. So just, it's just, it'd just be giving them. Because they don't seem to have any embarrassment or, or any shame. I mean, if I was attached to a story like that. I'd have some fucking shame. I wouldn't be fucking putting my face all over the internet, having an opinion, sitting there, and then when you have an opinion on her, it looks all fucking devastated and shocked, starts playing it like it's a victim. <sighs> I had someone knock on me door yesterday, wants me to talk to a so-called SRA victim of abuse that's already lied to me. And who's already in with a person who's just had me nicked. Right? No! It's just a joke, man. You know, the whole thing's a joke. Puddick, you're behind it all. You work for the Queen, for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? You've already tried to put... I mean, it's bloody obvious, isn't it? You give me, basically, give me equipment to go and film Andrew Ash who's going to lie about Prince Andrew when you work for the Queen. Fuck, it doesn't get any simpler than that. What can't you understand? You're done, you cunt, yeah? You're done. Go and drink your fucking gin till you pop. Actually, I will say this, Puddick, yeah? I had my first gin and tonic the other day. And uh, it's all right, actually. Gin, tonic. Obviously, I weren't having a punsy pos one like you. But if you want to give us a bottle of your gin, I'll have a go. If you got a fruity one, that was even better. I had a pink gin the other day. It was fucking lovely. It was fucking lovely. I didn't think I liked gin and tonic. It was only Schweppes tonic water. But actually, it was fucking nice. So, uh, no, I'm, not, I'm not having a go at public for drinking gin. I had one the other day and liked it. I ain't going to lie. So, uh Paddock, if you want to build bridges, I don't think I don't think you can I don't think you can build a bridge this time. I think you've had more more than enough opportunity, and you just keep playing it like you're some fucking James Bond, fucking I don't know what you think you are, but your side must be telling you fucking stop it, Puddick, leave it alone. You're making it worse, and he has made it worse, and he? he's proper made it worse. Gin company's just a front, I oh, know, I oh, know, I know that, I know that, but, uh, you know, he's just a man of leisure, isn't he? I'm making gin now, I've got a Han Solo carbon freeze on my wall. Yeah, that picture is a uh, Banksy over my toilet. Uh, uh, Neil, Neil Wallace, Neil Wallace who hacked Brian. I've got a phone box over my toilet door, yeah. Girl, Gin Bond. Gin. He's definitely got a gin attached to him, mate. Puddick's the gin. Not D J I N N. That's what you should put on it. Puddick's the gin. Gin. Puddick's spirits made of smokeless fire. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think of that? Look, 2.2 miles from door to door where Ghislaine Maxwell lived, who I said I see in the Red Rooms. It's only 2.2 miles from the Red Rooms. 
And you know damn well there's an underground network from Buckingham Palace taking you straight into that club that is royally owned down the line, right? Yeah? Yeah? Through Prince Philip. Yeah? You can get in that club whenever you want behind the wall. Puddick screams Tory at me. Definitely. Tory boy. <laughs> with his mate Boris. <laughs> and Boris with his satanic girlfriend. I'm... <laughs> Fucking come on, man. If I had a girlfriend that done that, <clears throat> there's a picture of a boy in the background looking all fucking malnourished and devil shit written over him. I'm pretty sure you'd have something to say about it. <laughs> what do these people do, man? You know what I mean? Like, they must be bored. They must have so much money. Like, they control all of us and they're just like, what are we going to do now? Uh, I'm fed up with so I can't be bored of a satanic party this week. I know what we'll do. Fucking put a. Uh, let, let's tell the public there's a pandemic. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Yeah, that'll fuck them. Kill a few people along the way, yeah. That's what I reckon. Old tunnels all over London, 100%. So you know, maximum amount are going to be coming from the bottom of Buckingham Palace there. Yeah? What, there ain't, there ain't escape tunnels there stretching out for miles. You know, I'm only talking about a mile and a half away there at Covent Garden. Mate, you go straight in the bottom of that club from now. Now, let's face it, you was there with Ghislaine. Otherwise, let me pull out the fucking mainstream article and you explain to me who royalty, actors and pop stars is, please. Please. Yeah? I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Thank you, Sasha Boo. Thanks for tuning in. See, like, you know what the truth is. When are we going to do something about it? When are we going to have to, when, when are we going to do something about it? When are we going to do something about it? Because I ain't sitting in this fucking ass forever, you know. I ain't sitting here forever doing this, man. I, like, I'm getting annoyed with it now. Yeah, I'm at that. It's been long enough, man. What, nearly nine years? Or is it nine years? I don't even fucking know. Time goes so quick. But, um, uh, no worries, Sasha. Um, yeah, something's got to be done about this shit, man. You can't just keep calling someone mad and they're sitting there with fucking loads of proof. You can't keep doing that. Yeah, you can't keep doing that. No one's believing you and keep calling me mad when I'm clearly not. Any symptoms that I have fucking got, you fucking give to me. You can't see it leads to airports, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? I bought, uh, I bought hot tub, boy, it's fucking lovely because not having the jab and fuck the holidays, man. Yeah. Fuck the holidays, man. Who gives a fuck? I've been everywhere anyway. I'm not interested in going anywhere. I'd rather stay on the ground, thank you. Fucking hell, I'll get on a plane to fucking Benidorm and that'd be boom. Yeah, the plane was blown out of the sky. Someone was flying their drone. It went into the, uh, one into the engines. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's happening, Nelly, mate? Yeah. No, I'm not bothered. I ain't going nowhere. I'm fucking bored of flying. I hate flying anyway. Don't like aeroplanes. You know, fucking most unnatural thing in the world. Big, dirty, heavy cunt like that. And it's up in the fucking air three miles and that. Never felt safe about it. Done about you. <coughs> Thank you, Jody. See, Jody knows I'm not mad. Yeah, man. Uh, dungeons. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be on the portrait of Queen Elizabeth at the National Gallery, you can have the bald light back and look through the eyes of the painting. I think it's hilarious now, people think we don't see they chat shit about it. Yeah. Well, oh, fuck flying. Fuck flying, man. Fuck flying. I ain't a fucking bird. You know what I mean? Fuck flying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that fucking Richard Branson gives you Baphomet wings so you can fly to other lands. <laughs> Baphomet Air. Baphomet Airways. 
you're fully awake, Brian, just wait for the rest of the people to awake, but not everyone sees the con. I know they don't, mate. I know, I know there's a... The, see, the thing is, the majority of people, Glenn, they they still believe the mainstream media. You know, like all the all the old generation and that, they'll, they'll have what Boris says. They Clearly they do. They went out and got jabbed up and all that, and, and, and it don't do nothing. It don't make you immune from any variants. It just don't seem to do anything. I just didn't see what the point was. Atwood's fucked. Yeah, he was fucked a long time ago, mate. He was fucked a long time ago. I'll just, look, I'll put it really simply with Atwood, right? Here's the deal. With Atwood, here's what you can and can't do. If you're going to go out there and fight against paedophilia, you cannot bring a trafficked victim home and fuck her. Right? It doesn't work with what you're trying to do. Do you know what I mean? That, that, it's that simple. So now, is she a traffic victim? Is she a liar? Is she another crisis actor? She's appearing to come out the same camp as all the rest of them. John Wedger, you know what I mean? Bill Maloney, Sean Atwood, Ian Puddick. I'm sure it's just another one of them. Sure of it. Did you know Rupert Murdoch is suing the BBC? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, pick your side, BBC, if you want my help. If you want my help. <laughs> <coughs> I'll help you BBC if you want to do the right thing or Murdoch maybe you want to do the right thing nah if you want to do the right thing Murdoch come and see me I won't shout at you come and see me I'm angry you fucking ruined my life for 30 years right That's, and that is the truth come and see me Murdoch and I'll help you ruin the BBC yeah because I hate the BBC more than I hate your fucking paper if I'm being honest if I'm being honest. I don't like the BBC, man. I do not like them. But then Murdoch's just as bad, so, you know, I'll leave it up to you, yeah? If either of you want to come and see me and that, and, uh, yeah, 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 mate. Thanks, ITV, telephone. Stop paying pedo tax. Listen, there's there's conversations to be had in this country, right? We all know that there is an underbelly of paedophilia. It needs bringing to the surface, exposing, and, and putting to sleep. And then at least that way, you know, we've tackled it. Because at the minute, you know, you've got shipping companies with diplomatic immunity shipping live art under an arts and embassies program. Of course they're shipping kids. You know what I mean? Like, you cannot be going around fucking children. The end. There is no debate about it. There is no conversation to be had. They're kids. Leave them alone. It's that simple. You don't sell them, take them from their parents, you're fucking scared out of their life, and then you do what to them? What sort of an ending is that for someone? What, because you lot are fucking rich and you want to go into territory that's, oh, it's a bit frightening because we're doing something nasty, you're going to go to hell for it. You, you, you can never repay that debt. Right? you just got money and you've lost the plot. Humble your fucking selves. Grass up these fucking other mates of yours in the ring. And maybe you get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting amnesty though like fucking Bill Maloney wants for you. Because if you're a nonce, you're a nonce. We can't have you. We can't have you in this society. Because give it 10, 20 years more... You lot will end up having the power. Well, don't say nothing against them, you get arrested. Same shit as what's going on now. That's where it will go, and then you won't be able to say anything against them. And then they just are. And it's allowed. Five, ten years goes past. What's life going to be like then? Some 70-year-old's got his eye on your fucking four-year-old. Yeah? But what other outcome is there? What else do you think they want? I mean, you had paedophile information exchange in 1976 sitting there trying to legitimise their fucking thoughts and feelings towards children. Sitting there in a roll neck. Bill Maloney, a.k.a. Fat Boy Slim. <laughs> he is a bit, isn't he? He is a bit Fat Boy Slim. <laughs> He's a bit fat boy slim, isn't he? Shit.
Yeah. So anyway, you know, like the, the old Prince Andrew thing and that. Literally, I'm looking at what are they standing by in the mainstream media? Like, what are they... Clearly, they're going with, at the minute, the narrative appears to be that this picture's real. <sighs> I just, uh, mate, I know how good Photoshop is and that. There's just no way of fucking telling. There's no way of telling unless you know how to analyse them photos and, and people know how, you know, because once you've, you've compressed it and then you could take a screenshot of it, you've got no way of going back into the layers of Photoshop. But to me, when I look at Prince Andrew and I look at the girl and I look at Ghislaine, the one thing that I, something don't look right with, to me, the photographs that have been taken of the people, there's different lenses make people into different shapes. And um, Ghislaine, her image feels different. Well, the other two even feel different from each other. Andrew and, and the girl, when you look at the, the, the contrast, when you go in and look at the contrast settings, because when you're trying to blend a picture and make it blend with a background, you look for these things and you kind of, Andrew, don't, don't look right in blending that into the white. I know there was a flash, allegedly. I'd like the opportunity. Someone else has bought that property now, haven't they? I'd like the opportunity to go in there with a portable at the shop flash camera, go in and recreate the shot with three people. Until someone does that, You've got nothing, right? So if we can get that done, I'll do it. Whoever lives out, if you're watching, you could be. Would you be willing to let me come now and just literally take a quick couple of snaps from the same distance and just stick a couple of our own people in at the same size, height, and put them where they put them now. Take that picture and come back and analyze that against um, the Andrew picture because if we can do that we can find out we can know for definite the lighting would make it look different but it's the shape of the people in the shot and the uh, and, and the contrast difference between him and her but then when the media have got hold of that picture and they print it they'll do their own Photoshop like grading process on it and that with levels and contrast and saturation so the only way is to get the best quality um, scan of the photograph that's online, and then we take our own picture, get the film developed, take that picture, scan it, yeah, scan it in and put that in, and then also take screenshots of it, like he reckons it's a photo of a photo of a photo. Well, we try that as well on the side, yeah, and then we'll have a look. But I guarantee you, if we get three people the same height to stand in that shot in the same place, and we take a shot, there's going to be a difference. It ain't going to look like their shot. Right? So Epstein's took the picture, our tall Z. We go back and we take the picture from the height that he was. We have someone standing for Andrew, someone standing for her, and someone standing in the background is Ghislaine. Just quickly go. Literally, it's a two minute job. Knock on the door. Do you mind if we talk besides an intrusion, but obviously there's been a lot of, and we're trying to get to the bottom of the story, right? Do you mind if just four of us quickly take a picture, 10 seconds and leave? That's all we'd need. And we could come back with that photograph, put it through the same processes that they say that one that we're seeing as, and also we'd have an original. But I guarantee when you put them to it, it's just not gonna look the same. It's not, because I'm pretty sure that Andrew and that girl in that particular shot that we're all seeing. Don't worry about the thumbprint on the corner. Who takes the picture and has their... No. That's done on purpose to convince you that the picture was real. It was a thumbprint. Epstein's thumbprint. We do all the same thing. Exactly. That, that photograph ain't getting clicked until I'm looking there on the laptop and seeing that picture and looking through there and going, that is it. Click. Right? And that's all I want to fucking see. And when I've got that in front of me, I'll be able to tell you what's what. 100%. I'll be able to tell you what's what with that picture. So if we can get in that ass, you know, they open the door for Sean Atwood. See, that's why you know he's an agent and you know he's being 
given exclusive to talk about that. The numbers are going to go up on his show. Everyone's going to be interested. He was sitting there talking every day on it. His numbers had never been so big, apart from when he was talking about that. But someone got there and the door just happened to open when he was there so you can see the banister. What is going on? That story can't be real. Look at the flip side. Let's have a look at the other side. Because like I've already explained to you, do you think they're going to lay down and die and leave Andrew like this? Listen, the destroying of Andrew at the minute, right? And the way that they appear to be going in on him, all the press and everything. My story is real. They're not helping me. Why are they helping this girl? Have the press got it in for the Royals? Really? Are they allowed to have? I wouldn't have thought so, would you? Right? So, what you got to look at is the other side. Charles is supposed to be king, coming up next. The Queen ain't going to last very much longer. I do feel a bit sorry for her, but I don't know the full story now, but you know, she's an old girl, she's done what she's supposed to do all of her life, and I reckon it's the fucking ones around her that are letting the side down, because they're all noncey bored fucking blokes who want to go out and nonce. She's got to sit there and take everything, come back and deal with all the bad news. So I'll be straight with you, I haven't got anything against the Queen. I really haven't. I see an old lady there now, who's done that job all her life, put on face. So that's how this country works, you know? As long as you get a face and, and a, it's okay. You know what I mean? Everyone fucking has it. But the other side of it, nah, right? What I'm saying is, is the destruction of Andrew, what's going on at the minute, and we know that there's coordination going on because of Bill Maloney. Some of this might come out later on. You can't forget that, it's a big fucking deal. Public funded, me, equipment, film Andrew Ash who's gonna accuse Prince Andrew. What? So you know there's plans going on involved in this Andrew thing. How did Bill know oh, so this, when it's all over? So it's going to be over, is it, at some point? What does over mean? Andrew reinstated. The story found out to be fake. The photograph found out to be fake. Because that's, that's all it relies on. If you look at the story with Prince Andrew, he's ragged the girl, right, in the public's eye, who's 17. So therefore, he ain't really done anything wrong. I know we don't agree with it. It's too, it's too old for, for a girl that uh, uh, absolutely 100% is too old, right? But he... It's not about 17-year-olds. That's it. It's not about 17-year-olds. That's made it palatable for the UK public. So you go, well... No, I think it's much worse than that, mate. Well, if... If what I saw in the red rooms is anything to go by, yeah? No one was 17 there out of them two. Yeah, and why she dressed up all St. Trinians? Answer me that. Who's the royalty in there then? Answer me that. Right, because you got two answers here now. This is either it, you're what you're seeing the end of the royal family, or if I'm right, you got the biggest media spin coming your way. And if you think they ain't doing that, think again, because they are doing that. And I've witnessed it when I check it out first down with Bill Maloney and Puddick, who fucking works for the Queen. So get out of that. So really, we've got some insight here as to what is really going on. My theory is we run with this Virginia Roberts story for 10 years. Everyone's gonna have made their mind up on Prince Andrew. All of a sudden, it ain't real. Now that paves the way for Charles to come back without any questions. Because they say, oh, we've dealt with all that paedophilia a long time ago, right? Or they're over. What do you think? I know what I think. They're either over or I'm right about what I'm saying with the biggest media spin coming your way. Let's face it, all of the media went with the death of Tom Watkins all at the same time. But none of his artists were putting R.I.P. Tom or anything. It's only the Pet Shop Boys that come along and cover for him a little bit later. And then Bill's dancing to one of their songs. You are always on my mind. <laughs> what? 
and they're not playing games. Some of this might come out later on when it's all over, but at least we got it. Now give me the Lucian one. What's the Lucian one, Bill? Now give me the Lucian one, he says to Andrew Ash. I know what's going on, I don't give a fuck, man, I don't give a fuck. I know what's going on, I know what they're going to do. I can see what they're doing. <clears throat> and the Red Rooms is 2.2 miles away from Belgravia. And I'd say one and three quarter miles away from Buckingham Palace itself. And if you used to draw a straight line from Belgravia to Covent Garden, it runs directly through Buckingham Palace. So you're telling me there ain't a secret underground network from Buckingham Palace that goes directly to the basement of the Red Rooms. Rules are done and finished. That's, but listen, we know how this world is, yeah? Right, and you got Murdoch now. How do we know it weren't Murdoch in now? The bald geezer with his head back to me. How do we know that weren't Murdoch? How do we know that? Queen's got the Diamond Jubilee soon. That will go crazy. They'll drag it out all year. <coughs> Wonder if this why Harry and Meghan's brought race into it to divert. Yes! 100 billion percent! If you don't think that they've now brought someone of colour into the royal family to make you... What's the subliminal? No, we're not a racist family. Of course not. Moving with the times and all that. That girl ain't happy in that family, no way. I think I think she's actually probably quite smart. She's clocked what's gone on and knows how to distance it. So she's gone, fuck it, I'm living over here. I've gone in there, I've got the title, I've got him, I'm going over there. But Harry, mate, if you're watching, you know what? You're better off. And don't get roped into their shit later. Don't get roped into their shit later. I'll tell you now, I like Harry. I like Harry. I like him. I like him. I've gone off Prince William, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I've gone off him. But Harry, I think Harry, I think Harry would be alright, man. You know, I think I honestly think he'd be alright. But the others, nah. I don't want to take William up. Don't don't know him. You know what I mean? I, I do feel for him because of what happened to his mum. I, 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 I but fuck that. I stand by that. I fucking stand by that. You know what I mean? Watching them two walking down the road and that, man. Yeah, your mum's gone. The world's watching. That's fucked up, mate. Sorry. That's fucked up. Yeah, but, it, you know, he's... it would be... Um, who are you talking about? Who's a mason, for fuck's sake? What, Harry? They've got... I suppose they've got to be, haven't they? I don't think they've... Probably, they ain't going to have any say in it, are they? From the prison... Yes, he is that. Yes, 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 Richie. You're right. You're right. Serco, yeah? On the board of directors at Serco, is it? It's not G4S, isn't it? Serco. He's on the board of directors of Serco, isn't he? So, there you go. Don't William have shares in Serco? Yup, there you go. There you go. There you go. Right, well, fuck that then. But I do like Harry. I think most people do. I think most people do. I think that's the general consensus of the whole country. I think I think everyone's got a bit of love for Harry. Because he, he looks like he's the outsider in that family. You know what I mean? Fuck it, Harry, man. You've got a nice bird. You're out of there, mate. Do you, innit? These lot are going down by the looks of things. <laughs> I love the chat on, on there. Someone's pebble dashing, you okay? You know what that means, don't you? Hey, eh? you know what that fucking means? He's having a wee out of his bum. I'll get rid of this fucking picture now. Anyway, you get it, yeah? So, there you fucking go. Let's go back here, yeah. Any 14A pebble dashing? <laughs> it could be real purple dash, you know, couldn't it, I suppose? How's that happen? Yeah. 
Well, I know what I think anyway. Yeah, I know what I think, and I've got evidence that time you put my evidence together with all the rest of it and have a look at what's 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 out there that's been confirmed what they're happy to go with they're happy to go with Epstein was a massive child trafficker there's video evidence that supports it there's an old trial with a sweetheart deal that supports it which is what gives Virginia Roberts some credibility um, I, I, I'm not putting the girl down I'm just looking at um, scenarios knowing the way the fucking media works and the way they haven't taken on my story and it's real overwhelming evidence just the phone hacking part they could have took that on and done, but they're not going to are they they ain't going to help destroy themselves so that's why they could never really be against the royals they'd have to be in you know the royals are, they're not going to they're not stupid people they'll know that right well this is we got they have got real problems and I would say that that does stem from the sweetheart deal and the Epstein thing, 2007, where Virginia come up in it and that. So there's no doubt, you know, Lolita Express, Epstein's Island, eugenics program, seed in the world. Savile said that as well. They are clearly obsessed. I didn't realise how much until, you know, I'd listen to Nikki Cooper and her research on that one. Because I just, I really, really think, but no, yes, actually, they are breeding. You know, this this whole Ian Watkins, the toddler and child rapist who was in the Lost Prophets band. He's in the music industry around toddlers. Watkins, Tom Watkins, holding a baby in the video, yeah? And if you think that's him not fucking like, yeah, this kid's up for sale, yeah, then think again. He's in with Esther Ransom from Childline. Yeah, Childline, I've got a news article, they gone lenient on sex pests. Tom Watkins was best mates with Jonathan King, convicted paedophile. Tom Watkins in with Esther Ransom, Childline. Tom Watkins' his friend, Jonathan King, convicted paedophile. BBC, X Radio 1, BBC. Alan Yentob, Kids Company, yeah, head of the BBC, also got a company called Keeping Kids Company with Camilla Batman Jelly, Camilla Batman Jelly likes the old battered mouse, Mickey Mouse scenario, didn't she, the battered mouse, Tom Watkins likes the battered mouse, Mickey Mouse, so much so he fucking put it everywhere in his bar house, yeah, with his art, just like Camilla Batman Jelly. It's true. It, it's true. Camilla Batman Jelly comes out in 2015 and says that she's got evidence and no secrets about paedophilia because the government cut her funding off. Next minute, put that back on. Everything's gone quiet. What are the secrets that you're holding, Camilla Batman Jelly? Why'd you wear a big paedophile symbol around your neck? But yet you're attached to kids. Walking in like you're on the set of Unbongo advert, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Calls on the face of things, you've got to be looking like you do some. No doubt there has been some good done for some kids. But it'll be a cover for the, re for the rest of it. Like several. Well, was he a good bloke then? Done a lot of running about, raised money for charity, but fucking rape kids. So where do we draw the line? Yeah, Camilla Batman Jelly's in with Damien Hurst. Damien Hurst in with Tom Watkins. Alan Yentob, who runs the BBC, is in with Terence Conran. Terence Conran was Tom Watkins' mentor. And the cover for their Nazi shit is the art world. There's a lot that they can do with that. Like I say, Arts and Embassies programme. Nicky Cooper clued me up on that one after pointing me in the direction of Murphy Buddha's videos. It's got diplomatic community when they ship live art. What is live art? It's not gerbils. Might be a couple, but it's not gerbils. It's kids. It's child trafficking. And that's what the underbelly of society is. It's where the money is. This is what they do. Schofield's name. I like to see Schofield's name up there. He'll know all about it. Got to know all about it. Involved in it himself, probably. He likes a boy, doesn't he? See what I mean? See how normal it's becoming? He likes a boy, doesn't he? And then we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll talk about the next thing now. That's what's happened here. 
It's not normal. None of it's normal. It's not normal. Imagine how much Schofield's runner got paid off, yeah. It'd probably turn up dead later. Drug overdose or something. Or hung himself. Some shit like that. That's what they always do, isn't it? Jimmy Savile nonces run the planet. They do. Hello, Joanna, man. Pedo gate. Pizza gate has been very, very held down in this country. John Podesta. There's a picture of him shaking Sadiq Khan's hand recently. Seen that. So they all know each other. So it's the same here, it's the same over there. Clintons, they've been on the Lolita Express many times. We know what the fuck's gone on. We don't need you to stand there and admit it. It's unnatural for people to do that. You're not going to stand there and admit it. But it's like we're all waiting for them to admit it when they're not going to admit it. they just got to be caught out properly and exposed. And you know what I mean? We leave them behind. We lock them up, whatever. Schofield was going to be outed. I pretty much think that was an outing, don't you? You know, just because once again at the end, he's not stood there and admitted it. But we know what we see. Don't we? We know what we see. Don't need him to stand there and admit it. Yeah, Jill Dando, 100%. And then look at, look at the date she died. 26th of April. What's my hacking date? 26th of April. And to wind me up, Ian Puddick incorporates 22 Burford Gardens on when? 26th of April, 2017. The same year he has me nicked. The same year Richard Mallet gets fucking struck off for fraud for £1.8 million. And a month after that, Puddick has me computers taken. November. What a cunt. You're just getting caught right, left, right and centre, mate. You know what I mean, really? Keep, oh, no, he smokes too much weed and fuck off, you fucking pisshead. Fucking size here. Fuck off. Got to get off. We'll finish the rest of this later on. Take care. Be able to get to see you, mate. Nice one, Chris. Thanks for tuning in, brother. And take care, mate. I'll see you soon. Some Vernon, Miss Testado, taking over from Schofield. Listen, uh, even um, look at what's her name. Who, who was with who was with um, Ian Watkins? Fern Cotton. Yeah. Who's the other one? There was another one, wasn't there? There was another one. Fern Cotton was with him. Who's the other bird? And then you had fucking, what's her name in America who started the Me Too movement? See the bird over there? Who, who blew up Weinstein? She was with fucking Marilyn Manson. He's got a nonce fit. Come on, man. And he's something, he's a, he's a government plant, gone out there with power and that, you know what I mean? Intimidating, tr telling people, like killing people and all that, if they speak up about him, these people are fucking sick in the head, mate. Going, going out there all fucking dressed up like Satan all the time, like, what is that? But it's not satanic, fuck off, man, do one. Fucking ugly cunt. I suppose you got to wear fucking all that shit, you fucking ugly cunt, mate. All over there giving it the big and on says, yeah, you know, cause like, uh... Shut up, you mug. You fucking satanic mug. No, just one almighty slap. Shut up. Fucking idiot. Go and put some proper fucking clothes on. Fucking nail varnish and fucking you, you cunt. Fucking hate them, mate. Fucking hate them. Fucking bunch of fucking weirdo cunts. That's all the music industry's got. If you're out there, people, you're on a street level, don't forget fucking music industry. Look look at little Nas X's video, yeah? You know what? Keep music. Keep it. Keep it. Fucking geezers, they're all cock swinging and that. Like, as bad. What the fuck? Keep your music industry, mate. Not involved. Not interested. Not interested. But I'm fucking mad. I'm fucking mad. Brian Harvey's mad. 
yeah, all right. Well, at least I don't do that. You know what I mean? All backing dancers doing the helicopter in the background and that. You fucking sick blood in the air bubble and the trainer and that. It's fucked up, mate. From us sea geezers, yeah? Road man walking down the road like that in a pink wig. And it ain't happening, man. Surely, that, please tell me that can't happen. Please tell me that can't happen. Put blood in a train on. No, that's what I'm saying. Is that not satanic? Is it not just keep pushing the boundaries, pushing the boundaries? No better than fucking um, Marilyn Manson, mate. No better. And that's the influence. All these people think, oh, yeah, I'm rebellious. And then, yeah, I rock. Yeah, I love it. Fuck off. You're everything wrong with society. Everything that's wrong with it. Yeah, Johnny Rotten knows. But even he's gone tame on the rules and that now. Should know more than everyone else, really. Talking to Piers Morgan as well. Geezer, what are you talking to him for? What are you talking to Piers Morgan for? Yeah? Didn't he make up a fucking front page fucking stories with vile about our, our, our fucking troops fucking torturing Afghanistan troops or something, yeah? But yeah, he goes on, then he goes over in America and that gets his own show, then he's on Good Morning, he's a fat sloth cunt with a big mouth who needs one good almighty slap. Fucking big mouth cunt. That's just what establishment cocksucker. Oh, 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 do whatever you want. Oh, how do you want me to make it? Oh, oh, oh. You fucking cunt. Fucking cocksucker. Cocksucker, mate, is the word. Yeah? Goes out there, pretends to be grilling people and that, bit unbiased and that. Fuck off, man. You've got a royal penis right down your throat, past your larynx into your gut, mate. The tip of it is sitting in your stomach acid. Cunt. Can't stand him. I bet he stinks. I bet he fucking stinks. Yeah. I bet he fucking stinks. I bet he's fucking boxer shorts, pure skid marks. That cunt don't use wet wipes, no way. No way. Probably thinks his shit don't stink. Skid marks, mate. Pure skid marks in them pants while he's sitting there writing stories about other people. Hmm. Mark Zuckerberg tried, tried by the... Oh, Roger Waters told him to fuck off. Who's, who's this Johnny geezer then? Who we got here? Who's Johnny? Oh, Johnny Berg's got a big mouth till police turn up and your little crybaby. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, all right, I'm a little crybaby, mate. I'm a little crybaby. <laughs> police are back again. I just got woke up, you fucking cunt. See you later. You know, I can't, you know what's happening, don't you? You know what. See you later. Can't be bothered with your shit on a Sunday. Coming in with your anonymous mask picture. Block user on your job. Reload. So bored of it, man. So bored of it. Dickheads, man. 
come with an anonymous picture and that. No, it's just boring, like it's boring. Because yeah, like, what do you think is going to happen? He's going to make a comment and then, oh, I might never put a video up ever again. Fuck off. Just bored of it, it's boring, so it's really boring. Don't worry, we won't stop nothing. <coughs> you won't stop me, old boy. <coughs> you got loads of uh, television gold coming your way. You know what I mean? Radio show you, boy. What does that mean? I should have a radio show, is that shorthand? Radio show. Radio show you, boy. Pudding. Hello, Pudding. And oh, Argo, there's always a burnt apple in the bag. Yeah, always. Uh, still, like, you know, I like to see Puddick get out of that. You bought me equipment, you work for the Queen, and you're funding an interview, basically, for someone who's going to accuse the Queen's son. Both of them. It's good, isn't it? So glad I got that. Just subbed. Yes, mate. Eight is... Stretter Gamer. Stretter Gamer? 80 straight a game, Mark. Robbie Williams should speak at and say what he knows. Come on, Robbie. Come on, mate. I'll stand there with you. You know I speak the truth. You know I speak the truth. And I clued you up about them cunts trying to use you as well. Remember John Wedges, mate? What's her fucking name? Anna Breeze. Never happened again after that, though, did it? Mm. Your own show be blinding. Oh, right. Okay, Andrea. Thank you. Yeah, especially if you've got, you know what I mean, you've got, um, you do a bit of research on your guest, you know what I mean, and you and you find and write down questions that you want to know. That's the place to start, isn't it? It's common sense. Because I think the questions that I would ask people, I think you'd want to know. Can you imagine if I got the, the, the opportunity to interview Prince Andrew? Obviously that ain't never going to happen, but can you'd fucking watch that, wouldn't you? Because you know, I'd be going, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be asking him, I'd be asking him everything. I won't be holding back. It wouldn't be coordinated. I wouldn't be asking you questions to set up for your answer that's pre-determined. I'll tell you what I did watch the other day. I watched um, the four top body language experts in the world um, analysed the Newsnight interview with Prince Andrew. Mate, see, even them people, people like that, they're good people to interview. So tell us, what do you see? You know what I mean? What is it you're saying? Put it this way, Andrew does not come off very good. It's in two parts. Have a look at it. If you just type in uh, Prince Andrew body language, there's um, there's a guy in there called Chase. What's his last name? Chase. There's four geezers. One of them's from the UK. Looks a bit like he could be a, bro a young brother of David Icke. All right, body language expert and three other American guys in that. Brilliant. One of them's ex-CIA, ex-interrogator. Um, uh, fucking brilliant. Watch them. I forgot what they called. They're called the something guys. The the body it could be the body language guys. Possibly it could be. But uh, Chase Hughes. There you go. Fuck it. There you go. Mark Bowden. Bowden, isn't it? Mark Bowden. That's it. The behaviour plan. Behaviour panel, wicked. Got trouble for talking about Levi Belfield. No, you need to remember to tell you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you know why? Levi Belfield, once again, look at the company he was in with, JP Cold. JP Cold's got all stuff to do with Jubilee in it. The end. The end. The end. Mike Dutchman, big up yourself, mate. That's what I say to you. There's a woman out there that does that too. Can't think of her name, but she's called out loads of dodgy people. Uh, I've not what well, I've watched a couple. I can't. None of the nothing uh, sexist. None of the women have stood out to me. These four geezers stood out to me. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Scott Rouse. That's it. It's Scott Rouse, Mark Bowden or Bowden, uh, Chase Hughes, and the other guy's name. Can't remember his fucking name. Scott. No, Scott Rouse, 
Chase Hughes, Mark Burden, what's the other geezer? Nice one, Mike. Can't remember the other guy's name. Greg something, yeah. Fucking excellent. Really good. I, I, I think I've even subscribed to that. Brilliant. Uh, there's a good episode of them analysing Kate and Jerry McCann. I think you know already how that one's going to fucking go. I'm going to watch that, though. I've already made my mind up on them. You're getting all the police help. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, you had the... Uh, what's his name? Um, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, uh, fucking, what's his name? Rick Clay. I was looking at Rick Clay before the 2012 Olympics. Brilliant. Another one, though, that they said died. So, uh, Rick Clay, more than likely years later now when we look back was agent material this geezer ain't killed himself i don't believe that now with the insight that i've got today i believe he was a very early plant to big up the um 2012 olympics explosion i've got to be honest it had me fooled it had me fooled i thought i was seeing all this stuff in his there i was like i'm out of here man and i actually did get out of here i went up fucking yarmouth up Trevor's and that, I fucked off, I was like, I was pretty sure, like, something's going to happen, yeah, but, that doesn't mean to say something won't, years later, because that's what they're fucking really like, but Rick Clay, I watched all his stuff, I was watching Red Ice Radio, yeah, um, uh, uh, listening to all his interviews, and it was fucking interesting, he was talking about all the Zion uh, label and everything, Zion, the logo, and breaking everything down, and it was... It was brilliant, man. It, it, it was good. But looking back on it now, I think it was planted propaganda leading up to the 2012 Olympics and that. So it's sort of reverse psychology, really, is really what I believe that to be now. Because, you know, these people, oh, and then he committed suicide. So I was like, gone now. But in reality, that probably didn't happen. He was probably planted to lay the groundwork for conspiracy, which is what we all get sucked into. Isaac Cappy, I watched that as well while he was... You know, talking about all the Tom Hanks stuff and all that. But then once again, this geezer goes and commits suicide. I don't believe he committed suicide. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I know there's a lot of... There's a lot of intimidation. There's a lot of mind games. Go, you speak out, like, this is what's going to happen to you. But if they kill me, they're banging trouble. Banging trouble. And you already know about it. You know exactly where to go looking. They'll never really end of it. They won't. They'll never really end of it. Not without evidence as well. I'm dead and it's like boom, 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 boom. People's lives will be destroyed. And then that will have a, a knock-on effect. And then uh, this one's trying to cover their ass, And that one, well, I didn't say that. Blah, 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 bang, done, done. Done. It melts your head. Fucking melts mine living it. Having to keep finding the answers. Peter Hyatt's statement, an analysis, uh, uh, analysis on the McCann's hidden confession by Richard Deal. I've watched that. See, now, I like Richard Deal. He's gone off the radar at the minute. I think his uh, Rich Planet, his own site, is probably going still. Um, I've spoken to him as well because I thought, and I said this to him, out of all the people that were out there, I think he um, he's the most thorough. I liked him. I enjoyed watching him. He's quite blunt. He was thorough. Um, I liked him. But he's still got Bill Maloney's interview up on his thing. Where Bill Maloney's calling Leslie Bailey a black fella. But then going on to explain that Leslie, partly, uh, Leslie, Leslie Bailey was part of Sidney Cook's gang. But he's calling him a black fella. There's some serious, serious false memory implant shit going on with these government shields, Bill Maloney included, you know what I mean? Why would you say something like that? He said he had a go at Simon Jan Danchuk. He said he interviewed him, which he fucking didn't in his flat. That was a lie, because I asked Danchuk. And, um... What was I going to say? Uh, um, um... He said he interviewed him, and he hadn't interviewed him. But he, he also said that um, uh, Simon Danchuk, how can he be writing a book? He don't even know about Sidney Cook. But then Bill Maloney knows all about Sidney Cook. 
and interviews Andrew on it, funded by Puddick. Yeah, but Bill Maloney then goes on, well, earlier, before this, this was, on Richard D. Alls calling Leslie Bailey a black fella. He won't. He couldn't have been any whiter, this bloke. You couldn't get any whiter than Leslie Bailey. Fucking hell. I've seen the warning from Rick Mal. Yeah, I see that. I even watched that little film. I skipped all the rest of the film. It seemed like it was a film about convincing there's three mates and one of the mates' birds don't believe all this fucking shit. And then when the bell switch, when it, you know, the light switches on, she's like, shit. And it's, it's sort of all based around that. And they kind of talk about, yeah, they talk about Rick Mal starts talking about 9 11 in it. And, um, you know, basically planting in your head that it was an inside job. And, and, but it's this other, it's this woman's Rick coming to realization of it. I think is what the is what the Aaron Russo yeah they killed him. He was in with a Rockefeller, and the Rockefeller told him this Aaron Russo, who's a film director producer, um, what the plan was for humanity. And Aaron Russo exposed it, and he's dead. Nah. So you know they got they their, their plan's still running, and the thing is, is the royals are controlled. It's the bankers. They care not who runs the country once they've got control over the money, which they have. Ten percent fractional reserve banking system, which means they've only got to be holding ten percent of your money, and money is not backed by anything anymore since 1930. Free. It's not backed by gold or silver. It's backed by nothing. Fresh air. Someone's okay. Someone say so. And the government's let them do that, which is wrong. They shouldn't let them do that. They're lending out money they haven't got and charging people interest on it. How can that ever be right? They're allowed to create nine times the amount that you deposit on top of it out of thin air based on only having to hold 10% of the money. But the 10% the that all of the money that everyone's deposited in the bank, right, all of their money, that's 10% of a bigger figure that they're allowed to create and lend all that out that they ain't got. That's how it runs. That's it. It's that simple and the government's let them do that. That's fucking disgusting. It's not backed by nothing. There's figures on the screen. All right, yeah, you can draw it out and go and buy your telly or go and buy your food or whatever. <coughs> there is that. But when it comes down to it, if everyone went to the bank tomorrow and went, fuck, I'm fucking drawing all my money out. And everyone went and drawed all their money out, banks wouldn't exist. And you couldn't all get your money either because they ain't got it. What's that tell you? It's not good, is it? But that's what they're doing. Did Charlie say he's got cancer? Sorry to hear that, mate. I've just, I, I've just heard that with someone who's been pretending to be my mate. Well, I've still got a heart, but the thing is, is I'm not fucking psychic. So when we have a rare, and then you drop that after, I ain't fucking psychic. Only thing, uh, Bank of England is a large IOU, yeah. Lloyds Bank is buying up a lot of property. Yeah. Everyone should be able to have a house. You should all be able to live. Shouldn't, it shouldn't come down to these people dictating your life, because that's what it is. It's Banking is modernised slavery, it is, you know shit to hold you in place the more you've got the more you can be held in line but yet you 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 strive to have more so you're striving to have more slavery put upon you more control more restrictions because you've got stuff can be used against you to keep you in line that it will take off you if you don't do as you're fucking told yeah that's 
that's basically it. That's basically it. So what's the fucking point in having anything? There's no incentive, is there? Because it's just modernised fucking slavery. They just come take it off you. Like I've said it before, you car. You go out and, and buy a nice car and then you give it away. You get back a V5 registration document. You are the registered keeper. You don't own it. They own it. That's why if you park somewhere, they can come and lift it and do what they want. Under any other circumstances, that's theft. <coughs> but they're covered because you gave them your car. And they gave you back a V5 registration document. It's all, everything's deceptive. It's all deception. Courts. That's deception. Why do you think you need someone to re-present you as a fiction in court? They speak another love, another language. Sounds like English, but it's called legal lease, and it is different to English. And certain words in English are synonymous with other words, like must is synonymous with the word may. So when they say you must come to court, it's synonymous with may. You may come to court. You're being offered something, but it looks like a threat. So they write it, but you need a fucking one of these corrupt fucking solicitors to interpret it for you and re-present you in a court. You know why you're having maritime admiralty law thrown at you? Hello, Kelly. BlackRock now run the Federal Reserve. I have never heard of BlackRock before in my life. Never heard of them. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's what's going on. So, but long, long story short, you're having a piss turn out of you. And you're being controlled through things that you think you want. That you must have, because everyone else shows you that they've got it. And you're not normal and don't fit in into society. Unless you're like all these lot. But we'll all stand back here and point a finger at you. Look at you, look at you. You're mad, you're mad. You're not like us, you're mad. We're going to stand here and do this. You. Chris, Fink, Chris Faye does it and really stands out in the crowd. It's like, bing, E.T. Send Charlie some love, people. Send Charlie some love. Sorry to hear that, Charlie, mate. Send Charlie some love there. Yeah, speak truth, yes, control and stuff. We ain't mad, we are sane. Yeah, no, they're just really pushing it with us all lately, and that's why people are depressed and confused, don't know what to do, what's life going to be like in the future. All of this, I'm saying to you, is just all unnecessary. We don't need to be going through none of this. They're making it that way. They make it that way. They want us to suffer, basically. They want us to, while they run around doing what they want, fucking children, in clubs, behind walls that you don't even know are there. Remain in the truth. There you go, Charlie. A lot of love coming your way, mate. Pure bad news out there, isn't it? People thrive on it. Yeah, I have some bad news. I have some bad news. And this, ugh, it, like, it fucking drains you, doesn't it? It's just draining. Bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. That's all there, all there seems to be nowadays. No good news. You don't get any good news. It's just all bad news. They want you to be depressed. You're easier to control that way, I suppose. Wow, you seen them? Is that backwards? It's backwards, isn't it? No, no, we can't have any of that. Yeah, 
I knew something weren't right. Yeah. Oh, mate. Well, I've got to go and make Santa eat in a minute. Good to be back up at normal times, though. Me up at 12 year olds, no, no, 12 dirty bastards. Me, yeah, see that. Nice one, Thomas. Yeah, that's what the world's become. That's what it is. It's fucking dirt. It's just dirt out there. Everywhere you go, even schools and that, they want fucking mixed toilets for kids and that. Now, fuck off, man. What, you nonces? Fuck off. Turn everything into a nonce fest. Fuck off. <laughs> Trigger. Trigger. Cat out of front one. Trigger. Trigger. Fucking hell, where I mean. Oh, fucking hell. So to hear that, Remy, mate. It's bollocks, isn't it? It's just fuck. I feel, I really feel for you, mate, like getting bad news. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, it must just, it must just fuck your head, man. It must just fuck your head. Getting that, you must just think, oh, now what? All the faults that run through your fucking head, man. That that must be. No worries, Rain, man. That that must be um, the isolation in the mind from that must be awful and I know like people say stuff and that and they mean well and uh, you know what I mean uh, in your head I suppose you just uh, yeah just everything else just blurred off man and just just that that's 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 what I imagine my head is totally fucked so I'm 100% with Charlie yeah man to both of you mate no, mate, uh, just know this, yeah? If if I had the power <laughs> to take it away, I'd fucking take it away for you in a heartbeat, mate. I just, I don't know what else to say. Because no, no, we fucking can't. Have you have you looked into the, 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 the cannabis oil and all that? Just have a look, man. Just have a look, innit? Because uh, it looks like I'm not going to go, yeah, 100% it definitely kills, because I've not actually seen it with my own eyes. We've all heard about what it does. And it does seem very lightly. It does seem very lightly. So I would, I would look into that. Mental torture is just don't forget. Mental torture is the fucking worst. When your when your head goes, man, and you're all in your fucking head, there's nothing worse. And you know what? It happens worse at night. It seems worse at night. Enhanced times ten, I think, the night time. Doctor Sebi, they fucking killed that geezer, didn't they? Have a look at them Dr. Sebi videos, man. Uh, just type in Dr. Sebi and cancer and just see what comes up. Can't afford it, bro. I won't give it to me on the NHS. Listen, Charlie, right? You haven't got to do it. I know you probably have watched the Rick Simpson video, haven't you? Where he does like a fucking panda weed. I've got a video where a woman... I'll just tell you what she does, right? Right. So it's uh, Indica, isn't it? Indica, it's Indica, Indica strain, right? So mostly what what you what I think it's normally Indica that's about. Uh, the sativa's up there in it, and the other one's down there. Calm you down, right? So it's the Indica strain, right? What you get, what you're gonna need to do is get an ounce, right? You can do it by the ounce or half ounce, depends how much medicine you want to make. If you do an ounce or half ounce and that, it probably give you a week's probably give you a week's worth, right? So this is what I, this is all I know. It's not medical advice, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I've seen online. So I'm just passing that on to you, right? Answer green, grind it up. Um, Got to go online to eBay and buy yourself something called Everclear. It's 100% uh, or 99% proof alcohol, 
food grade. So there's no isopropyl alcohol, none of that fucking shit to do with it, right? Right, so you get yourself a porcelain cup, so no toxins can come out of the cup, right? Porcelain cup, grind up the ants, put it all in there, grind it up, nick a couple of spliffs out of it because you're going to regret it if you don't, right? So you've got a big porcelain cup, ants grinded up in there. Get your Everclear and submerge all of that. Stir it about so that it strips all the bud of the THC for around five minutes, right? And then what you're gonna do is get yourself a McDonald's large to-go cup and you're gonna get these little muslin sacks which are cheap, three quid on fucking line, you get a few of them. Put it inside the cup, fold in a bit over the top of the cup and then all the, this is gonna look like petrol now, this, yeah? Tip that into there, get the muslin thing out, ring it out, yeah, because it's the juice in the McDonald's cup here now that you're gonna wanna keep, ring that out, get that bag, turn that weed back out into the porcelain cup, add Everclear again, give it another run through, another five minutes, then weed back into the thing, strain that out, that's now no good, fuck that off, you ain't gonna dry that out and smoke it, you strip the plant, right? Now, a pan of boiling water on the stove at the boiling point, right? Pan on the stove, water in it, boiling. Greenware frying pan, got to be a greenware, normally porcelain coated, right? So that no toxins come out the Teflon. Greenware frying pan on top of the boiling water. Tip the contents of the McDonald's thing into there, right? Turn the heat off. Boiling water is now going to evaporate the Everclear. Right? Takes five, ten minutes, whatever. Yeah? And you see coin sort of size bubbles going off. Yeah? Once it gets down to that, you know that the, the, uh, the Everclear, which is food grade, so it don't matter if it's not fully, fully gone, right? Uh, evaporates out of it. Then you're left with like an oil. You will have to bring, if you're doing an ounce's worth, the pan underneath the hot water back to the boil one more time near the end because it does cool off. Once it's boiling, turn the heat back off. That way you ain't getting no explosions, nothing, because it doesn't it doesn't go to that past that point. So you ain't gonna get no explosions. It's the safest way to obviously open the windows, you know, just air out and shit. But you're doing it with food grade alcohol, yeah, instead of isopropyl alcohol. So it's food grade, can't poison you. Um, and then literally, you just got a, a, a little silicon spatula and you're just moving that about until you can see the, the, the Everclear has gone out of that. You're just left with the oil. Where that's warm, you pull that up into a little syringe, measuring syringe, and then, you know, wipe the lid. I don't think I'd lick that if I was you, and put the lid on, and that is your thing. And then all you're doing is a grain of rice size, a, grain, a grain of rice size every day, little blob on your finger and one of them. If you can do that a couple of times a day, gradually building it up to sort of three times a day with slightly bit more on now. Apparently, allegedly, according to these people online, the quicker you can get 60 grams of the oil through you, they say over a three month period, sounds to be um, what people claim to have uh, had success with. So I'm just passing that one to you. So when you think it's a big ordeal, it's not. It's a bottle of Everclear, an ounce of green, a porcelain cup, and a little natural muslin sack, you know, that you ring out, yeah, and a McDonald's large, empty, bought large Coke fucking thing. That's it. So I'll be straight with you. If I got that as a dot, I'd be doing that first. I, I would, I'd feel, I have to. Because, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'd have to. CBD oil, but there's, you know, there's the one you can go out there and buy legally, or is the, the proper one that you'll make yourself. Obviously, they're not going to let you buy the one that will get rid of things like cancer. If it does, you know, don't even want to go out there and say, yeah, it's going to do that. I've heard it does, though, right? That's that. That's all, mate. That's all I can say to you. Do you know what I mean? I ain't a fucking doctor, but all I can tell you now is if I get news like that, Charlie, Rami, I, I, I hundred, I'd do it in front. I'd be on here doing it in front of you, wouldn't I? I would. I would. 
I'll be doing it on here in front of you and saying, right, and then at least that way we could determine, right, I've tried this for three months, it ain't working, I need to get some help or whatever, but I think I think that would be probably how, how I would go about tackling it for me. Yeah, but you say that, but then you get that real news, I bet you don't know what the fuck, I bet you don't know what the fuck to do. Uh, no worries, Facebook user. Sorry, I can't see your name now. I think you have to ask Nikki, man. She knows. Stage four. Yeah, Midgey, little Midgey. Uh, Nikki's dog was having it for a while, and it was a little while back. He couldn't even walk, and he only needed. I mean, this little vial like had nothing gone from it. You know what I mean? He was having such a little small thing. But he would fuck him, he would sleep, but then the next day it's like he would sleep and then I'll see him run when apparently he weren't meant to be able to. So there are definitely positives there, definitely. I use for medical reasons when can afford. Tried the shop, bought the CBD, didn't fuck all for me, nah. I wouldn't expect it to, Richie, mate. Stage four, I've turned it around. Don't give up though, Charlie, yeah? Serious, mate. Don't, don't give up. Because I think the mind has got a lot to do with it. I know a lot of people chat and they talk shit and it's all just, oh, don't give me advice, it ain't gonna fucking help me. But honestly, if you can, and it is gonna be hard, but don't go on like it's that way. If you can, I, I, I mean, I might fucking give you advice, but don't, what am I saying? Don't go on like it's, it's over, you know what I mean? Because, you know, shit can turn around, man. Shit can turn around. It, I, I'm sure it can, I'm sure it can. Give it a fucking go, man. Don't just go, go, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I would be giving it a go. I think, you, you know what I mean? You have to, you have to, you have to. <sighs> fucking, there's no fucking good news about it, is there? You would have thought that like, you could fucking sort this shit out for people now. You know what I mean? Once again, like, unnecessary. It's fucking unnecessary, man. We need to get rid of these people. I bet you any money, right, if all these cunts were gone and we had, and in, in place of them, we had just like real understanding people. It's like, fuck, I can't believe it. You're actually all right. If we had people like that, I bet you any fucking money there's a way. I bet you any money there's a fucking way if you got rid of these cunts that weren't all nonces looking after each other with their dirty stories and we had real people there that actually were fucking humanitarians, yeah? I bet I bet there's a way of turning it around and I bet you any money it would be something to do with fucking weed and the plant. I bet you any money. I bet you any fucking money. I don't want you to know. Keep going to their banks that ain't got no fucking money. Keep living their fucking depressed lives. Stuck in our phones, mm. you know what I mean? Seriously, man, we got a, we got a fucking, mate. You got to get your fucking, you got to get your sparks back, man. You know, it's like they're putting your flames out these lot. You know what I mean? You need to light up again. You only live once. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spark up again, man, no matter what's thrown at you. You've got to. You've got to fucking. You just got to, man. Because when it's over. I'll tell you what I watched the other day. Someone talking about we've already all been dead. We all know exactly what it's like. We was dead for fucking thousands of years. Now you're here. Some of us. Who knows? It's, it's a random sort of number, innit, that we all get. You know what I mean? But. We've been given a chance to be here, that's the thing that's forgotten about. Think of all the sperms out there that have been chucked into a tissue that never got to come out. And, and if asked the ultimate question, well, would you rather have not have known, existed, felt, experienced, or would you rather have stayed in the state you was in for probably billions of light years before that, if, that's, if there's any truth to that? 
Um, well, it could be 6,000 years old though. Just keep it as a possibility. Um, allegedly, we've all been dead for billions and billions of years already. So if you want to know what it's like to not be here, that's what it's like. No knowledge, no conscious, no pain, no nothing, no nothing. And now you're here. Now, would you rather that have not happened and you stayed in that unconscious, never coming forward as a physical being, then would you prefer not to have had that and stayed where you was? Or would you prefer to have been here and known this on your computer, talking to people from all over the world? I'd rather this. I think you have to experience. I think you have to experience. Right said Fred member Richard is poorly. Is he really? Oh, Nicky, man, you want to send him a message? I do think there's the mind has got a lot to do here, man. I really honestly do believe that. You can overcome shit, man. You just... I don't know where it comes from, but you just can. If you're fucking fixed on, this is the only outcome I'm seeing here. You know? What's the time now? 10 past two. All right, people, listen, yeah? I'm gonna uh, go and make something to eat and uh, have a coffee and um, work out what I'm doing today with myself I don't know I don't know but listen man all I know is this yeah let me just say this to you this ain't stopping all right and 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 also to the trolls that are out there that have been given the job to just wind me up at any given opportunity this is not gonna stop I do have evidence against serious people. I was walked through the red rooms. There is a paedophile ring at the heart of this. I am now caught up in the middle of exposing this. People have tried to entrap me by creating stories where big people are being accused. You know, I've been funded and injury recorded by someone that does work for the Queen. This is a real serious situation. My life is in danger. That threat has not gone away. They're just changing up their tactics for the minute. But if you think there's not a problem here, then you'd be wrong. This, this is, I'm still in danger. I'm still not going anywhere, right? Until this comes to light properly. And I think I'm gonna at least give Virginia Roberts, Dufresne's lawyer, David Boys, the option to know about my story. I'm gonna give him the option. I think I must do that. I've got his email already. And I think I may contact him and see what he says. And then I'll take it from there. With regards to the rest of the stuff, the arrest, PC Sweeting, Dita Sweeting, and whoever his family member is, who is part of the NCA, who go to Puddick's pop-up gym bar, 2018. Miss Encrow chat, and her OBE from the Queen that was kept off the honorees list. And Sweetin being attached to DS Werrett, who's now in Southend, hiding as Reverend Eastwood Evan. All of this, the Millie Dowler case, the hacking, all of it is real. All of it is real. And I won't be stopping. I may have to take little breaks here and there just because I'm not running at full capacity anyway. I ain't got me five cameras here. I ain't even got me three cameras here at the minute. I haven't got the switch here, so at the minute, we're like this. And, and I'm only coming online 
you know, just to, because uh, I ain't been on for a little bit, so don't you think you're not, he's fucked off. I ain't never going anywhere. I'm here for as long as it takes, right? And, and I mean that, all jokes aside, I mean that. I'm onto something big here, and I'm going to expose it. Uh, I'm at least gonna get what I know and what I've seen in the mainstream media for the world to make up their own mind. Clearly the mainstream ain't just gonna go along with that and help me put it there. They're gonna fight me the whole way. But when I take a step back and have a look at what I've got, if I coordinate this right, Murdoch, once I get him out of the way, you won't be trusting your fucking mainstream media ever again when I finish with him. Yeah, and then that will spur on to, well, what has Murdoch sorted for all these high up people? It's gonna come on top. Just know I'm gonna fucking be there right up the front in the middle of it. I ain't never stopping. So, whatever you've got to say about me, you say what you want, all right? I'm not ever being diverted again, not by anyone else's story. If anyone knocks on my door, no, I'm not getting involved. I've got things to sort out here and I'm going to do it. And I won't be swayed. And you will not take my focus away again. All right, so just know that I'm not going nowhere and the punishment is going to get worse because when I have got the five cameras, it's party time, man. It's party time. Put it this way, we're going to have a fucking laugh, yeah? We're going to have a laugh because I do things differently to other YouTubers. I ain't like them. I've got my own fucking way of doing things. So uh, listen, I'll be back on later on tonight, yeah? I'll come on. Maybe even Leah fucking pop round, you know what I mean? I don't know what Nikki's up to, I'm gonna give her a shout in a minute. Um, and um, might come back on later on, man, see how it goes. I'm going to bed normal times now, so um, I don't think it'd be a, a, a late one, but I will come back on later. And um, keep an eye on the Prince Andrew story, and remember what I said as well, like with the, um, just watch how it plays out, you know? A little bit longer, I think we'll have a good fix on what's really going on now. Because like I say, either this is the end of the Royals, or we've got massive spin coming. And I think the latter. I've got to be honest. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you later on tonight. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Take care, yeah? See you later, people. See you later.